sampaetia obanya nsafu so wogunu bia wonka na asam se ma futu sam ka kre wa so peme yo kofi omaya woma omani ya mama na denyi be bia ko bacha ja ja ya wa reni bonsom bonsom wonyi pa asa de pa wo
Beloved, 2020 is another election year for us here in Ghana and we need to seek peace. Peace is foreign to this fallen world. We need to seek peace before, during and after the election. Scripture says that whoever seeks to know life and desire prosperity should keep his tongue from evil, his lips from telling lies. Turn from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. Seek peace and pursue it. Seek is to go in search for. Try to find because I've already said that peace is an essential commodity so far as this fallen world is concerned. Pursue is to strive for, to chase after. So in an election year like this, we need to chase after peace. That is why we are staging this peace campaign, that all of us will be aware that we need peace in times like this. How do we seek peace and pursue it. It is by word and deed. Word because scripture says that the one that seeks peace should keep his tongue from evil and his lips from telling lies. The tongue has the potential to brand this country down. The tongue has potential to push this country into chaos. So let us be watchful and mindful of what we say in times like this. These are very important. So let us keep away from evil and try to do good in periods like this. Good does not naturally come to us. Evil, we produce it. But for you to do good, then you must be mindful of the fact that we need peace. So try and do good in periods like this. I have one vote. You also have one vote. And let us be content with that. If I don't seek to vote more than one, you have one vote. Be content with that. Let us seek peace and pursue it. For the sake of our family and friends, let's seek peace. For the sake of the stability of our nation, let's seek peace and pursue it. For the sake of the house of the Lord, let us pray for the peace and prosperity of this land. And let's seek peace and pursue it. Peace be within your walls, Ghana. Prosperity be within your palaces, Ghana. May the Lord bless this nation.
time. And he needs to be celebrated at the right time. Okay. So, um, I would like to begin with the idea of the Electoral Commission or who the Electoral Commission is. I will just want to play it along that side and take it to our the road we've come so far for this year. Now our main objective, uh, the United States Constitution is to make sure that for every year of four years we elect a new president. Or not just a new president, or we conduct an election all over again for the people to elect whoever they want to live there. So the main objective or the five goal of the electoral commission is just to spice up or make the democracy move longer. And through this, we conduct election to make sure it is free, fair, and transparent. Yes, um, for this year we face a lot of challenges which we know we are still facing the COVID-19. But regardless of it, the electoral commission is still obliged to come out with his or her own uh, procedures that we like to take every year. So the first thing that we went to this year is the registration. We decided to register everybody again because of some issues that we have and realized that they are more access than um, in the register, they will be better for us to register everybody all over again. So we went to the registration, although there were so many groups of people who started by the way, we were able to do that uh, registration. Then we went ahead to do our exhibition, where we encountered a lot of uh, problems. I hope you know that very well. Missing names, spelling of names, mission of some names, wrong sex, and that is the main objective or the main reason why the electoral commission goes through an exhibition process after each and every registration. So that when you go to the centre, you check whether your name is indeed your name is indeed in the register. That on the voting day when you come, you wouldn't come and face any problem. We also give you the opportunity on that day to also correct your names. Sometimes you make mistakes with your names. Sometimes our officials mistake you keep in wrong names. Sometimes your sex is being changed from male to female. We take all these opportunities to come out. And we face a whole lot of problems, but God is so good. I can go at this time to tell you that we have rectified all those problems and come to 2020 each and every January a little bit to put and register in full time. I can assure you for that. So we also went to uh, we opened our nominations. And then uh, in our hand we had six different political parties that came to tender in their nomination. That is they wanted to take part in their parliamentary elections. Now I'm going to take this according to how we will arrange on the ballot paper. The first is uh, NP, which is Ebenezer uh, Kogoku. Second is NBC, Dr. Emmanuel Umi Ando. Then the third is Umi, Ismaila uh, Wadi. Then we have CDP, we have Abu Mensa. ABC, we have Nathaniel Ebuse. Then PNC, we have Dominic Akawa. So these are going to be our representatives or the parliamentary candidate for Amanta Wet 2020 elections. So I just want to take you through all that. But uh, the most important reason why we are here is the voice for peace. And I know the Electoral Commission plays a very vital role when it comes to peace in the elections. Because we are the one that is going to take, or I would say we are the reference for each and everything that is going to transpire that day of, on the election day. Each and everything the electoral commission is going to be in charge. Um, on behalf of the Minister, the electoral commission has a goal. We beg for peace. 
and you want to assure each and every Ghanaian that since 92 it has been peaceful and in 2020 it will be peaceful. I want to just uh, keep the name right on the head. I am a young guy. Yes, I know that because I'm not about 60. And um, I know that most of us, when I say us, we the youth are the ones that are used as a tool to work or do the dirty work for each uh, uh, election more practices. When they need people to do cause a little harm, they need people to do efficiency, it is the youth they turn out to. Now I would like to take two countries and I will make the differences clear. One is Nigeria and one is US. Now with the US, they realized that they needed a change in government. That is what the results have said. And that is what we are looking for. So what did they do? Nobody caught up in the cutters. Nobody took gun. Nobody took knife. All the waited was to patiently wait for the election day. That is where they had the power to decide their future. Now, for us to have you in this country, I tell each and every one of you, especially the youth, that you come out in your best to cast your vote. Now, this is what happens if you refuse. Now, we think that uh, it is none of your business. We all have an ideology. Whoever is going to be the MP, whoever is going to be the president, is not my father or my father. So there is no need to avoid myself to cast a vote. Now, Nigeria just voted. And we, we all know what is actually going on in Nigeria right now. Now, when you take about 80% youth, that is a rampant right now, you will see that about 70% of them didn't vote. Now, it is coming back into their own places, and they are trying to take the loss into their own hands, and it never works like that. So, I will plead with each and every youth here, because I'm a youth, and it hurts so much that you don't have a job to do, and we all believe that when we follow politicians, that is our way to prosperity. That is not the way. They are painting a picture to us that to make us feel that they are our only hope. No. We send them there to make decisions for us. We send them there to stand in for us. So it is very important that when you send someone to take decisions for you or to support you or pay ways for you, and it's not doing that, the Electoral Commission has given you the room that if for every four years, come out, if the person has really worked hard to your satisfaction, give the person another four. If the person has not worked up to expectation, you have that right in your hand. Don't ever stay at home and say it is not of my business. It's our business. Because we all need to progress in life. One person cannot be free all the time. And we all cannot take the decisions. It is only one person that can take it. But we all have the power to choose whoever makes the decision for us. I'm very passionate about this when it comes to the youth. I want us to rise up. The best way out is to cast our vote. Don't say it is not your business. It is indeed your business. Today, somebody might be in Nigeria and say that it is not his own business. But today, when the riots come, they don't know whether they are part of it or not. When they see that we are likely to be attacked, when anything, it's likely to happen to you. So I am pleading, let us all step up. Let us all come forward. Let us all come out December 7 to cast our vote. And at the end, it is the people of Ahanta that should rule and must rule. No individual will be on that day. It is the people of Ahanta that must rule, not any individual. We need to come out and exercise your franchise. Come and help in decision making. Don't say it's not your business. After when this one wins, 
Then you come out and say you don't like him. Whatever you say, all sorts of things are. Did you vote? That is the question. So I greet each and every one of you. Let us step up as a youth. Let us also participate in decision making because it is very important. Mother Ghana needs us now. Ladies and gentlemen, um, when I was in school, I would say our uh, family in JHS days, we have a solo always used to say, and um, it seems not understood, but I want us to take it again. Maybe you will understand this time. Arise, Ghana, you need to follow
and the other one. And the other one is the other one. And the
internet. No way to one pay. Nothing help is living. No, 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 we are going to go to Facebook. We are going to go to Facebook. No, 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 we are going to go to Facebook.
Gonna get it married, keep the love strong. See a peace we cannot risk. War at home is like cardiac arrest, cause home is where the heart is. Let the trumpet sound victory. victory. The battle that we won is a battle for a peace. Yeah. We promise on the honor that we'll never fight again. Cause Anna is the happy place of joy we should defend. We're sure to fight a bone, I give my dog a meta yuga. A granny bun and one yin ya will any teach ya cup. Get him, what's up, motherland? I didn't feel like I'll be the an Yep, I'm in love with you now. Tama Jiba Maji Hara Mabia Tao was a yaw will a doji love for from the kachale how from the big six you still the fix things now hama kafu was she can't do it reaches. If it won't make it be somebody for fight we the need one of peace income boom income boom is it with me If we the protect the nation for the dawn and anyone I say